Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is John from Samax Code and in this video guys, we're gonna talk about adding CSS into our JavaFX application. So what we have here is an application that we have created from the previous video. So we have here JavaFX Demo 2 and if you try to run this, okay, so we will see a very basic application with one button and one uh, window and maybe at some point you want to add styles or you want to add colors to this window and of course maybe change the, the, the font for our button so in order for us to do that we need to add CSS into our application okay so basically let's just um, close this right now and open up our main class which is the javafx demo 2.java so after creating the scene object we can try to add the css here by uh, using the scene object so scene that and then get style sheets and then add so inside this particular method we're gonna use the method get class and then get resource and then of course the name of our application or I mean the CSS so we will name it as application dot CSS then right after this is uh, the method to external form and then we're gonna close the this particular line by adding semicolon so there you go we all uh, we already added our get style sheets but for now we haven't have created this application.css so let's try that let's go ahead and create a new css file for our application but by just right clicking the project um, package and then new and of course we have here the option to add cascading style sheet for our application click on that and then we will name it as application.css okay so for now we have an empty css file and we can try to add maybe uh, several styles for our application later on in this particular file so as you can see in our demo.fxml if you try to open this or edit this so we have here the button uh, with the id btn generate okay so we can target that in our application.css so we can use the id so btn generate we will copy this so in here we can try to use the btn generate id so uh, we can select that particular button with the btn generate id and then we're going to apply different styles for that so for example we want to use or we want to increase the font size of our uh, btn text so, so for example in order for us to do that let's use the font size option so fx and then font size font and then size and maybe 18 pixels right there and maybe we can try to change the color for our button so for example fx and then background color and then maybe the background color for us will be green or something and we can change also the color of the text okay so fx and then text fill and then let's say white okay so let's try this save the application that css and of course save the main class javafx demo 2 and run our file and maybe we need to clean and build our application just to reflect the changes that we have made in our project so run and file and then there you go the style for our button is reflected we have now the green background and um, white color for our text and we can try also so for example we want to add another element for this app, um, window 
so we cannot open up our demo.fxml file in our scene builder application so we can try to add another element so instead of just the button we can try to add the label so let's drag this here and maybe we can change the properties okay and under code we can um, add an id for this particular label so for example label result okay so fx id or the, the id for our label is label result so let's go back to our application.css and then we can target or select that particular label by using uh, the number sign or hashtag which is label and then result so font size we can try it like 24 and then the background color for our label will be something different so background color and then maybe blue okay and the text field will be white okay so there you go save this and clean and build our application just to make sure that the changes will be reflected okay so run our project and of course we will have now the updated version of our JavaFX application and of course we can um, edit our main controller instead of displaying the uh, random number in our console we can try to use our label so label result and then set label result let's try this one more time and generate a controller so right click your fxml file because for now we don't have in our demo fxml we don't have the other uh, option and it is not added into our main controller file okay or maybe uh, the label is here but the main controller doesn't have the label for now so in order for us to update our main controller we can always right click our demo fxml and then make controller and then it will automatically generate the label for us okay so label result and then set text and of course we can set the number which is the value of our uh, random number okay so right click our project and then run so basically if you try to click this it will generate or display the generated number so as you can see now it should be reflected in our um, demo fxml here in scene builder but as you can see the styles are not applied right so the button should be green and this should be blue and in order for us to reflect or to apply the changes or apply the style sheets to this particular user interface in scene builder we can try to load that by using the preview and then scene style sheets and then of course we can add a style sheet for that and then select the application.css so basically it will reflect all the style sheets or styles that we have applied in our application and uh, we can drag and drop here all the elements that we want and yeah all the elements that you want and you, of course you can always target the anchor pane um, and other elements that you want now if you want the CSS reference because uh, there are a lot of CSS styles that we can apply to our application so all you have to do is search JavaFX CSS reference and the first result or the first 
uh, uh, yeah, result is the JavaFX CSS Reference Guide from Oracle Help Center. And here you can find all the necessary or all the information about CSS and JavaFX. Okay, so you can try to be familiar with all these uh, classes, all the styles you can apply to your user interface or the elements that you want to add in your JavaFX application. Okay, so I think that's all there is to it guys in this particular video and if you have questions, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll try to answer all the questions. So that's it and thank you for watching guys. See you in the next video.